Yes. I call the North Smithfield School Committee meeting of May 21st, 2024 uh, to order. Clerk, please call the roll. Chair Lombardi. Present. Mayor? Yes. Mr. Carter. Present. Here. Here. <laughs> Sorry. We have five present. We have a quorum. Let's move on to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, moving on to agenda item number three. Um, so, uh, well, welcome everyone. Um, and I'm proud to announce the North Smithfields 2024-2025 Teacher of the Year, uh, Melissa Conti. Jen, are you planning on saying a few words? Come on up. Dear Mr. St. Jean and Mrs. Arnold, it was it is with great pleasure that we nominate Miss Melissa Conti as North Smithfield's District Teacher of the Year for the 24-25 school year. Ms. Conti has worked in North Smithfield since August 21st, 2018, where she started her tenure as a grade five teacher at Hallowell Memorial Elementary School. When Hallowell closed, Melissa moved to North Smithfield Middle School and continued her time in fifth grade. In the 2020-2021 school year, she moved to her current position as a grade four teacher at North Smithfield Elementary School. Melissa is an exceptional classroom teacher who is gifted at recognizing and addressing the individual emotional needs of her students. She does this by developing meaningful relationships at the beginning of the school year and continues to build upon them as the year progresses. Despite their struggles, she treats each child with kindness, respect, and grace and works tirelessly with families, colleagues, and administration to ensure that students begin every day with a clean slate. Her students feel valued and understood, which is critical at this age. Ms. Conti's excellent intuition regarding her students' emotional needs is matched by her ability to identify the academic strengths and needs of her students. Through constant collection and analysis of student data, she differentiates her instruction for all whether a student is struggling to understand a concept or needs enrichment for, to further their learning, Ms. Conti puts the same time and effort into planning and implementation of activities. Every child always gets what they need. In addition to her excellence in the classroom, Melissa is an active and valued member of our wider school community, frequently volunteering her time for events and committee work. This year, she taught in our summer enrichment program and has volunteered to run stations for families at the NSES Family Fun Community Night and the NSES Family Literacy Night. In addition, Ms. Conti is an active member of our school improvement team, our behavior team, and she's participated in our year-long professional learning community for English language arts. Her contributions outside the classroom benefit our students, our families, and our entire school team. Her input is highly valued, respected, and well-received. Ms. Conti is certainly deserving of this esteemed recognition, and we could not be more excited for her. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, please, no. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so grateful. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm not taking it back. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, moving on to public and community comment. Is there any public or community comment? <laughs> no. Great, thank you. Uh, moving on to the consent agenda. Anybody have any questions, comments on the consent agenda? I actually have a question. Sure. Just a question about 11A, mm -hmm. which is the use of school facilities. Um, in the um, piece that we received, as a background, it says the use of schools is uh, providing significant wear and tear on our school facilities, and we are incurring additional costs. And so we. Um, so we would like to recover some degree of those costs and the whole rest of it actually has to do with insurance and liabilities that we trust so i'm just wondering is there a separate fee schedule somewhere yeah there is a a procedure that is attached to oh. this uh as far as the policy it's overall the main update with the update uh, in the insurance language and working with the trust. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? Okay. Um, on can of a motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. So moved. Motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. Second. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have. Uh, moving right on to the superintendent's report. Just going to switch over here. I wanted to share this document that we have because this is our last school committee meeting while school is in session. It is an incredibly busy and wonderful time of the year with proms and graduations and you know finishing up uh, uh, spring season and playoffs and and just getting ready for the end of the year. And oh my goodness, uh, the Friday when we had the um, well, hang on, I get out. Senior projects, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just, just rattling through so many things going on right now, but the senior projects, for those who have experienced it, 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 it is just amazing. Um, I remember telling the group of students that I was, I wasn't a judge as much as I just sat back in awe and enjoyed what they had to uh, uh, say but just so intelligent and articulate and poised and, and just so proud that they are a product of North Smithfield schools and they were truly on display and just, just magnificent. So I wanna congratulate all the seniors and the senior projects. The, but this document, I, I put to get this together, just to kind of a look back on the year and in celebration of all the awards and the recognitions that our schools and our students have received throughout the year. And so I'm just going to go through, just starting with athletics. Now, girls soccer, girls volleyball, girls tennis, all, all made first round playoffs. Uh, unified basketball, D5 state champions, boys soccer, undefeated state champions. During our winter season, boys basketball, girls basketball, and our girls hockey co-op all, all made first round playoffs. Uh, the boys, boys hockey co-op, uh, D2 state runner-ups, 
High school competitive cheerleading D4 state champions, middle school cheerleading state champions, and then boys track and field, uh, the four by 200 meter second place, 55 meter hurdles, 55 meter dash first place, 300 meter dash second place. In the spring, which is still going on, uh, our baseball team is playoff bound at this stage. Boys lacrosse, first place in division four and their playoff bound. Uh, boys volleyball, fourth place in division one and they're going into the playoffs. Boys tennis, undefeated playoffs. Girls lacrosse, undefeated and in playoff. So over on the academic and the, the other side, so our high school was recently reaccredited with uh, multiple accommodations. It was a slam dunk for North Smithfield High School and the high school teachers and the students and the families. Uh, they just truly impressed the visiting committee. Uh, our middle school, U.S. News and World Report, report ranked them as uh, the number six middle school in the state. And that's out of, I think, 137, 138, you know, quite a few middle schools. Our schools are among the uh, chronic student absenteeism is an issue, and the state has put together a leaderboard where every day it shows uh, the attendance and for the week. And North Smithfield schools are routinely amongst the top of the leaderboard because of all the hard work that our, our administrators, our dean of students have been doing to get the students in. You know, for whatever reason, you know, that that they may be missing school and they do dig deep into it, whether it's uh, the data or, or making multiple phone calls to family, getting the kids into school. And that is showing up um, as far as the way we're ranked across the state. We're, we've been multiple times commended by RIDE uh, for the highest uh, level of family, student and staff engagement for the survey works survey, which provides for us a tremendous amount of data, which goes into our strategic plan and school improvement plans. We the people, of course, the champion, and we're the national banner uh, unified school for Special Olympics. Now, our, we have a, a, a business and finance CTE, and part of that is DECA. And there are multiple categories that our students compete in across the state. And if you just take a look at all the first places and second places from entrepreneurship, principles of hospitality, food marketing, restaurant food service marketing, hotel lodging management, buying and merchandising, travel and tourism, buying and merchandising again. I think I have that. Oh, no, no. I got to check that. Retail merchandising, personal finance and literacy, business service marketing, and the entrepreneurship team. You know, just outstanding achievement. Then, of course, there's the music program. Oh, and that's the other thing I forgot to mention about all the things happening at the end of the year. We have our spring concerts coming up. And, you know, our music department at the high school and middle school are just absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the choral festival superior rating, uh, concert choir superior rating. They're testosterone, <laughs> you know, which are always fun to see perform. It's an after school group, uh, but they they scored an excellent rating uh, at the RIMEA Band Festival. Uh, the high school concert band, superior jazz band, excellent music in the park series, outstanding soloist award on the trombone, concert band, first place, superior concert choir, first place, superior chamber choir, first place, superior select choir, first place, superior. You see a pattern here? <laughs> uh, the testosterone tones, first place, excellent. But you know what? That's okay because they're so much fun. <laughs> um, and the, uh, uh, oh, that should be high school. And for individual students, there were 52 high school students were accepted into the all-state music ensembles and 11 chorus students selected to perform with the ACDA Eastern Region Honors Choir. Not to be outdone, our middle school music program, which uh, we have a new band teacher uh, uh, this year and we have a reasonably new choral teacher and what they've been doing 
uh, uh, together and in concert with the, uh, the, the, the high school is just phenomenal. R-I-M-E-A, choral, concert band and jazz festivals, grade seven and eight chorus, grade six chorus, grade seven and eight concert band, all superior ratings. Grade seven and eight jazz band, excellent rating. Music in the parks, chorus, first place, excellent. Concert band, first place, superior. And ranked overall, best middle school choir and best middle school band. And then from our individual students, there are 16 of our middle school students who were selected to perform in the All Eastern Honors Choir. Seven students uh, performed in the All State uh, Ensembles. And five students attained medal for superior and excellent ratings at the Rhode Island Solo and Ensemble Festival. Now, the, the other thing, uh, and, and believe me, there, there are many more things that our clubs and our, our academic teams uh, have, have done, but this is just a, a, a short list of the highlights. Uh, the other thing that we've accomplished quite a bit over this past year are with school improvements in the facilities. And we've been able to utilize ESSER funds, uh, our fund balance, some operational. We, we received some grants uh, along with the revolving fund for uh, uh, ride approved, warm, safe, dry projects. And through the revolving fund and ESSER, we've been able to complete uh, the, uh, comp the total replacement, all the windows at the high school. I mean, that's that's the 50 year old single pane windows gone for high efficiency uh, windows. Plus, each classroom has a a safety window emergency exit in the event that we need to evacuate the building quickly. So it's energy efficient, plus it's safety and security up uh, uh, put in. Uh, you may have noticed that uh, there used to be these window units outside of the high school library. Well, now there's these split units much more efficient. Uh, NSES, oh my goodness, we received a grant from the Department of Ed for a library renovation, and it is truly a place of beauty right now. Uh, new furniture, new paint, uh, uh, new layout. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a model for the elementary library. Uh, another Department of Ed grant, uh, we were able to update the entire sound system at the high school auditorium. We replaced and updated security cameras throughout the district. We, uh, through the security access control, we updated that. We have new throwing areas. So now we can host uh, home meets for track and field. Up, totally updated the baseball field, updated the softball field. We, well, you uh, approved the money to get a real handle on replacement of athletic uniforms. Our kids look great out on their new fields. <laughs> uh, we put in a, a, a athletic field security camera system uh, because things happen overnight, things happen over the weekend, and we have footage. Uh, new furniture. Now, here's what we're working on. Uh, another round of replacing the furniture at the middle school, and the middle school furniture is going to replace the even older furniture at the high school. So we're kind of double dipping in this respect. Uh, the summer, actually starting fairly soon is, uh, when school is out, a, a total replacement of the high school uh, floor, uh, gymnasium floor and the bleachers. All the duct work and electrical is in for the new generator at NSES. So that will be going in over the summer. So when we lose power, NSES, just like the middle and the high school, will have a backup generator system. We're updating the paging system at the elementary school. Uh, we have the RFP, which I think is going out tomorrow for the parking expansion at the athletic complex. And new, something you have not heard yet, uh, we are within reach of bringing air conditioning to this building, right? So one of the things that you approved was a little engineering survey. It is, there's the belief that um, this building, um, especially the third and second floors, and again, the way this thing is designed sort of like an easy bake oven, 
uh, for about 400,000, uh, we would be able to put air conditioning in all the classrooms, right? So, which, which is a huge step forward and I know has been a tremendous concern, uh, certainly among uh, a lot of the people in the building, plus the parents and, and the students. Plus it will give us a nice full building for, you know, more summer activities. So anyway, it's just the start. We're getting the information in. Obviously, it goes to the school committee for review and approval, uh, but we're getting to that information and that possibility. So we've had a busy year and it's been a good year. So thank you. Thank you. All right, so uh, let's move on to item. Does anybody have any questions? Let's move on to item number four. Um, it's for informational pers uh, purposes, um, personal recommend recommendations, time and sleep absences and appointments. Uh, Susan Sioni, accounting specialist appointed. Yeah, I congratulations. Just wanna, I, uh, she came by our office uh, the other day and uh, we're able to welcome her to the fold, so. Great. Uh, anybody have any questions, concerns? Moving on to item number five, old business. Is there anything new on the 24 or the 25 budget? Okay. Any think of it? I did not do the 28th. We'll do the last week of June. All right, hold on. Right away. All right. Let's, can we do it Monday night at five o'clock, 24th? Yep, for me, that works for me. Five o'clock work. Here? Yes. Good for me. All right. Five o'clock, yes. <laughs> Okay. Great. You know, you know that last night, so it's not the third. They're moving it to the tenth. Is that correct? Okay. On the third or the tenth? Okay. No, they continued it to the, I believe, I thought it was the tenth, too. Okay. Because it, didn't they say the third was to... Too many. They, I, they went back and forth now. Superintendent, did you remember? Are oh, you looking at me like I'm like I I, I had in my calendar that the third was the ratification by the yes. um teachers. Yeah. But I don't know. They may have continued the discussion after I uh, I bailed. Oh, it's either the third or the tenth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. We'll get a communication. Yeah. All right. Uh, moving on to new business. Uh, does anybody have any questions on the budget? Moving on to new business negotiations. So uh, I'm happy uh, to say that um, we um, negotiated and they approved the NSTA uh, contract from September 1st, 2024 through August 31st, 2027. Um, thank you. Um, and I, uh, you know, negotiations, if, if I may, negotiations are always tough because we want to do more, uh, you know, and we can only do so much. You know, many of the teachers had my children and they're on the negotiating team. I respect all the people on the negotiating team um, and I want to thank them. It was always professional. Um, 
and uh, Christine Welch, thank you very much um, for keeping it professional, making it, you know, move along and everything. So it's, it's always difficult, but like I said, we did come to an agreement. Um, the union ratified it. Hopefully we're going to pass it tonight. Um, and uh, I want to thank uh, Chairwoman Bartomoli, and she would be speaking right now, but she. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, Fran Johannes, who uh, helped us out. Um, so basically, the contract, um, there was some language changes. Um, the percentage uh, the, of increase in, in wages is uh, 2%. Uh, first year, 2%, second year, and 3% the third year. Um, there were some minor longevity changes uh, that we made. Uh, we made some um, changes to uh, the deductibles on healthcare. We would pay, um, I believe, half of it, and we are going to phase out on the, on the, the school side of paying any of it over the next few years. Um, we also had, uh, this This was the topic of discussion, we had some language changes around the Rhode Island uh, and Family uh, and Federal Family Medical Leave Act. So we we have, I believe, now in compliance of uh, those acts, and it it's centered around, and I hope I don't use the wrong words here, um, uh, childbirth, adoption, and those type of things to make it consistent. Um, and let me just see if I missed anything. Um, and and the, let me just be clear on those language changes. Uh, ben Ben approved the whole thing, but Ben worked uh, with the union to uh, to uh, make those changes to make sure that they were uh, in compliance with the uh, state and federal law. Um, did I miss anything? Bigger items. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions? And if we need to go to executive session for any reason, we can do that. I'll satisfy your relationship and material that we would give. Yes. Yes, I agree. You ready? Okay. Um, again, uh, I'd like to, um, you know, thank the negotiating team, uh, and Christine specifically. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? Anybody want to comment? All right. Hearing none. Um, and let me make sure I get this right too. Uh, so I'm going to entertain a motion to approve the contract and send it to, uh, the town council and or budget committee, whatever the town processes. So moved. Motion's been made. Is there a second? That's second. Second. Um, is that okay with that motion? I'm Any questions? Sure about yeah. That, so. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> By Sean, we got to get the Right, right. But sometimes it's supposed to go to the budget committee. Uh, I think what was a yeah. great one. Yeah. Right. So we got it covered, I think. All right. So um, I'll ask for a roll call on this. Yes. 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 Okay. Motion passes. Um, thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A great work on this. Mm -hmm. I want to. I want to go to the extra play. Like um, you said, uh, Fern was on this, and she's always a big help with us yeah. on this. And uh, who else was on this? Yeah. Terry. Oh, I know Terry was on. You're here. We have part of the job. We get to do that. Well, good I mean, good job. And, and our, um, all our team. team. No, team. We always have a good team doing it, so we appreciate it. It is a hard yeah. job. Real hard. All right. Thank you. So, and thank you. Thank you. Oh. All right. So, I don't think if you miss somebody, you know, that always happens. <laughs> all right. Moving on to, um, so we, we go to something positive, and now we have to go to something unfortunately negative. Um, uh, we do have to send out non-renewal termination notices, um, I believe 11 of them. Sorry. Yes. 
um, this, you know, this is a requirement that we have to do this. Um, I always I say this every year. It's the worst thing I have to do uh, every year. Um, but I can assure you that as soon as we get our funding back or we get the proper funding, uh, we will immediately uh, bring back as many teachers as we possibly can, as quickly as we possibly can. Um, do you, yeah. It's always a tough move. I'm happy to make, I usually make the motion. I'm ready to make it. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, go ahead. No, I, I make a, a motion that we um, issue the 2020-2020 non-renewal termination notices as presented. Motion to make is your second. 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 Any discussion? Yeah, just to clarify, really, as the chair, what you're saying, this is by law. We really, by, it might be sealed by law. You have to have your numbers down based upon your anticipated budget, and you don't have, we don't have the numbers yet. So that's what it means when, yeah, realistically, we do have to do it by now. And also by law, you have to have it out or you um, can't make adjustments over the summer. So uh, all school districts do this. They tend to, I mean, you'll see every school district doing this, uh, issuing, out, issuing these letters. And it's very discouraging, disheartening. We're aware of that. Um, you know, if you change the law, if somebody wants to, but that's that's the, that's the law. That's and the data law. One adjustment. There's only eight this year. Okay. Yeah, great. It's just I think the least amount we've had to do. But again, so, it's it's just heartening for the eight people, obviously. Right. And, um, and so you know, obviously, once the budget settled, we work as quickly as we can to turn it around. And Thank in you. fairness, you all, our staff always does. I mean, mm -hmm. we're usually very quick about trying to get people back. So uh, I'm happy because I know it started at 11. So thank you for whittling it down right off the bat. All right, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Any further business? All right, wait, nobody second. Oh, you make that motion? I made the motion. So, nobody seconded it? Second. I'll second that. Oh, I did? I Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we need to revote it. Well, no, 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 no. Sorry, my bad. No, 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 no. Thank you. Just wanted to make sure. All right. Any further business? Nope. I'll obtain a motion to adjourn. Motion has been made. Is there a second? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have it. Very adjourned.